In this video, we'll cover resolvers, the bits of server-side JavaScript code that perform the operations needed to make the schema come alive and return the appropriate response data. We find resolvers in the GraphQL API record under the related list GraphQL Scripted Resolvers. By default, a new resolver has this process function with access to an env object. We're free to add additional JavaScript code, such as this example. Here we're using the env.getArguments method to get access to the game ID parameter as defined by the schema and passed from the client. That's then passed to a script include, which does what it needs in the getGameObject function to return an appropriate object, again, defined by the schema. While the resolver may return a large amount of data, the client query defines which fields or properties it actually wants, almost like a filter. As in this example, an array of question objects, each with lots of properties, are available. However, if the client only wants the question text, that's all the API will return. The resolver's env object has another method called getSource, which is very handy for returning objects from the resolver and defining the actual field values in the schema. Let's take a look at this example. The resolver at the top is set up to return one or more glide record objects. The schema has a type called user containing the fields ID, active, name, and email. We can see that the sysid field is the mandatory ID type. We then use the at source directive to indicate the value comes from the resolver glide records field sysid.value. Now check out the active field. It's a Boolean and the value of Booleans on the platform is zero and one. But the display value is used to provide a true or false in this case. Note that the display value here uses underscores. Resolvers are very powerful for getting exactly what you want from the database, calculating values, or constructing objects. However, they're no good unless they're mapped to the schema using one or more resolver mappings, which is what we'll cover in the next video.